Am I a complete mess, but I don't care? Yes. Hi, blondies, and welcome back to Happy Blonde. I feel so, so good this morning. I had a party princess training program consult. If you guys don't know, I opened up my own performance training academy for party princesses out there. So if you would like more information into how to join the community starting for free, please message me and we'll work a free consult in for you. But that's not the point of this video. In today's video, I thought I would do a get ready with me for a Snow White party, but from the perspective of a company owner, not a performer, I'm not gonna be the one being friends with Snow White in this case. I did do the official casting for my company for this year. Every single year, I cast my girls and I assign them performers that they are approved for, like the Disney Parks does. And I already selected my official Snow White, which is Cece. You have seen her before. So I thought that I would bring you guys along with me so that you guys can see every Everything that goes behind the scenes before even going to a party. If you guys don't know, this is actually my office. It's being uh, re redone in certain aspects. So some things are out of place and some things are not, but that's okay. That's why it's a mess. So let's get started into prepping for this party. All right. So for before the party, what we need to do, we need to uh, check the wig and see if it's styled, but we're not going to do that today. We're not going to steam the dress today either. We do need to do receipt prep. We need to print the proclamation, worksheets, and bookmark. The bookmarks are being printed by my mom, but the worksheets are going to be printed on another day. We need to organize our royal bag, which we must do. We need to contact the client today. And I already prepped my performer. I checked in with her to see if she needed some one-on-one -on -one, uh, training before the party. She said she's ready to go, and that's what we love to hear. So let's go get the bag. All right, so the first thing that we are going to prep is the gift for the child. Every single child receives a handmade bow and a little baggie from my company so the first thing that we do is obviously choose the bag and since it's a snow white party i think that the owl looks better than the elephant for snow white for this time so we are going to put the rest ones away and we are going to prep the hair bow and the bag so that they match snow white's aesthetic I do need to buy some tissue paper for that because I love to put tissue paper on top. But here I actually do have, wow, handy, the Snow White hair bow. Looks like this. It is so, so stunning and beautiful. These bows are actually also for sale. So if you're interested in that, you can definitely let me know. So hair bow is out of the way. I have some old designs in here because we're actually making new designs very very soon but first i want to get rid of literally everything that was old all right and we also need a little bag now snow white has a lot of red tones so i do think that the bag is going to be red for her so this one looks like a good it maybe let's see i want to like literally check all the colors because we do have another party with snow white and Belle, and i'm saving a special baggie for that specific party so i don't like this one no no okay this one could be let's see red or this one oh i like this one a lot i like that combo a lot so we are going to go with blue for Snow White. If you hear a puppy screaming, it's my uh, one of my little angels. She hates being alone, but I can't let her in the office because then she's going to like start playing with everything. So yeah, let's pack this. All right, so the next thing that I like to pack is the Arts and Crafts folder. Now I can't fully pack this one because we don't have the full worksheets today so i'm only going to pre-pack it but i am going to change up some of the items that are in here from last party we did have a cinderella and snow white party so we had these little bookies pamphlets thingies i don't know what to call it but yeah i am going to put some lightning mcqueen ones inside 
just in case we do get some boys at the party but the girls will actually be getting some snow white dresses that they can color and we are going to have worksheets for everybody so that is going to go accompanied by this we have our crayons and our uh scissors and glue in here which is perfect for carrying around so let's go get that big bag like that pink bag that you see over there and let's start putting everything inside with the rest of the things okay so sorry for the mess you guys are gonna see like all company stuff just piled back there i want to get some doors installed to cover all that so usually we carry around the tiara for the coronation in this huge huge bag i mean basket but i think that the smaller basket looks a little bit cuter it looks more dainty but unlike the other one like this one the top half of this is not decorated so that's exactly what we are going to do now we are going to bedazzle i love bedazzling so yeah <laughs> So I finished. This is what it looks like. I decided to stick to pinks and purples and reds. I feel like they look very regal and a little bit more organized than this one that has like a lot of colors. And I decided to put a pink little heart over there. And now this tiara is gray because it folds. I absolutely love it and kids absolutely love it. So we just put it in here all together with its little cushion. And we just put the top in. And the crown is set and ready. I am scamming around. We have a lot of children's books. Most of them are in English for our online classes, but we do have some of them that are in Spanish. And we have this one and we have another one, which I'm going to fetch. But I am actually looking for ah, these little things. So I love to just scam around the pages and see what pages like the princesses could read. This is actually the princess manual this is not a, a, like an actual disney book it's a manual for children to like learn on how to be a princess but it talks about like so many things but you can like see them featured in some areas so there's that so i am going to scam around and see what pages snow white could actually read so okay we have this we have like princess castles Children love castles, so we got those. I am going to mark up that little page over here. And let's see what other one. I don't think that they want to hear about the bedroom. Oh, we can see. Let's see. Oh, princess clothes. So they're all girls and they're interested in fashion, which sometimes happens. We can look into that as well. It's party day, peeps. So all of these couple of days, I literally finished off everything that I needed. We didn't need to print the worksheets because there's going to be a piñata and the mom actually contacted us when we did. We contacted the client and she's like, hey, is it possible that Snow White can be present for the piñata? And obviously, like, we just eliminate a game or something like that. And that's where the piñata comes in. Uh, Snow White's wig really didn't need to be restyled. I styled it pretty well the last time that I wore it to a party with Cindy. Yeah, basically almost everything else was taken care of. The only thing that I do need to pack is this, is this uh, where we put the money in. And I have to choose my accessories for today. I always bring a small bag. If you are a fairy godmother, please bring something small. Don't come with like a big bag because then you're gonna have like the, the things from the company plus your bag plus your princess so i did a poll on my instagram which if you don't follow me please go ahead and do that because i do a lot of polls and i interact with you guys a lot and you get previews of everything and i asked if my accessories should be like my staple light pink color or if i should go with red and match snow white and a lot of you said red so i'm gonna wear these cuties they're actually from the disney parts they're absolutely adorable and really really comfortable my shirt is absolutely black with the logo as you guys know this is going to be my face mask but 
I can't decide if I want to bring this little bag, which is from the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival from 2019. That was the year that I went with the fam. Here comes Meg. Or if I want to bring this Mickey bag, which has the Snow White colors. Hello, Meg. Goodbye, Meg. And it's like a little cube that opens up. I'm not going to like open up fully. Um, let me see. All right, here it is. So you can carry it like this, or you can carry it around like um, with this little strap. And I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna bring in this one. So obviously always remember to bring in your license, extra money just in case. I bring the company card again, just in case. This little guy, um, alcohol, very, very important. Hand sanitizer, house keys, and yeah, I'm bringing all those things because I can fit them into this bag, but if it were this one, it was just going to be like my money. Um, my best friend is driving today. My mom is coming along as well as the staff, so I don't need to bring keys. But yeah, oh my god, I'm so indecisive still. Like, it's just like red and blue. Red. I'll go ask my mom. I think that's a good one. Mom went with the other one because she said it's smaller. And it's true. It's easier to carry. All right. So when you are a forget mother or intendant or whatever you guys want to call it. Oh, hello. Anywho, when you are working as an attendant, you also need to kind of look presentable. You are not the center of attention. That is the first thing that you need to know. So don't draw too much attention to yourself with a very, very flashy makeup or with flashy accessories for example i do have a purse that's an apple it's from the disney parks obviously inspired by snow white and i could easily take that but it's very flashy and i don't want to draw attention from snow so i obviously go with a smaller purse same thing with your makeup so literally i'm going to share with you my makeup routine powder because I take a lot of good care of my face so I don't have to use like base all the time and concealer and all that kind of fun stuff. And I'm going to go get my brow things. Let me just hold up a minute. Here we go. I do my brows like almost every single week. Um, if I don't, it's because I'm not working. I just literally brush them because the spoolie already has like product in it from using it so much. So I literally just brush them and I shape the tips just a little bit so that they have a little more definition. And I fill in whatever it is that I need. I like to keep them natural looking. This one is my, um, my naughty brow right there. Uh, I have to fill her up a little bit more. Oh, this broke. Hello. Then I usually do. So I just take this bully again and I just brush, 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 brush. Uh, it's a little crooked. I'm gonna fix it. Hold up. Uh, something like that. I kind of fixed it. Kind of not. But again, I'm not the center of attention, but I am the company owner. So. You know, it goes a little bit of both ways to look your best and be your best. I'm not going to use blush because obviously my mask is going to cover it. I'm trying to like ugh, extinguish this mascara. This is a better than sex mascara from Too Faced. And I'm just going to like very, very thoroughly coat my lashes. I absolutely love having long eyelashes. My problem is that my eyelashes are long, but they're slanted down. They're not slanted up. So people notice that I have very long lashes when I do put mascara on. That's exactly what I'm doing. Just coating them very, very thoroughly. The luggage is already packed in. I'm not going to get dressed just yet, but I do want to say always look presentable. Obviously, you are representing a company and you want that branding and that luxury to really stand out even in your character attendance and wear sensible shoes unless obviously your boss asks you to because you're going for a, a special event or something but if you need to like run or help or assist it's easier to be in comfortable shoes that's why i'm going with the ones that i am choosing and going with that i showed you and i also want to say 
your hairstyle has a lot to say too. So obviously, if you're gonna pick a hairstyle for this occasion, I like to really combine everything that I do with the princess. I'm not gonna wear my hair long today, but maybe I am going to put a little bun down here, probably with maybe a red uh, ribbon for a bow. And yeah, that's basically it. I'll see you when Snow White gets here. Sissy, what's going on? We're hiding. <laughs> We're hiding. We're hiding from children. Uh, we're waiting for a kid to come out of her car. Okay, so the girl is like really, really adventurous. And she was about to cross the street like without her mom, which is gonna be good because she's gonna talk a lot to Snow White, but it's also gonna be bad because ah, uh, this is gonna be a this she's gonna be a hard one. Um, we got we got four to five girls. There's a big girl, actually, Cece. Mm -hmm. There's a big girl. The other ones are like five, and you got a little little boy. He's probably three. finish the vlog as you can see being a fairy godmother is a lot a lot of work as you saw on the clips i was either very far away from snow or very very close to capture those beautiful moments and to obviously keep an eye on her that is our main job and goal to basically um make sure that the princess is doing all right and it's ironic because we have a snow party next saturday and everything's gonna be like switched up like i'm gonna be the one who's gonna be friends with snow and my snow performer is going to be a staff uh because she has she has an injured foot but yeah overall that's basically what we do it's still a lot a lot of work and both go hand in hand you know you gotta be ready for absolutely everything not only as a performer but also as a fairy godmother and i want you all to comment down below because I'm curious, what do you think is the hardest uh, part about being a fairy godmother? I definitely love to know your, your opinions on that. And happy blonde signing off. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.